So, to begin filling up your bottle with cleaning solution, you turn on the water. Then, you take the hose and you insert it into your bottle. Once you have done that, you press the green button for light cleaning solution for the green bottle. See their color code. You press the button. You fill the bottle to the desired volume. And then you take out the hose, making sure no cleaning solution is going to fall on your hand. Then, once you have done that, you put the cap back on the bottle. You screw it on tightly so none of the liquid leaks out. Now, if you want to do this for a heavy duty cleaning solution, you will press the red button. But just so you know, it will come out of this hose, so don't be grabbing this one. The first thing you need to do is fill the bucket with green or light duty solution. Then you put the mop in there, get it wet. Then you mop your floor. And then every once in a while, go back, get it wet again to rinse it off. And then you mop the floor. Alright, today I'm going to demonstrate how to vacuum your sizes of this. Now what the sizel is, is this is the rough part on the wall of many of the LDS churches. And what you do, is you get a vacuum, you get this skinny end, and you just vacuum it, like, like so. Very simple. Okay, I am going to be demonstrating to you how to clean the interior of the trash can. First, we start by removing the garbage bag itself, which we will put off to the side in order to be thrown out to the trash for later. Once you have that out, you are going to take the orange heavy duty solution and proceed to spray the interior of the can. You will then wipe that down with a paper towel, cloth, or whatever you have in your hand. Proceed to refill it once it is properly dried and then take out the trash. Today we'll be cleaning the bathrooms. For some of these areas we'll need the red heavy solution and for some of the easier areas we'll need the green light solution. Now we'll begin by using the red solution on all the more heavy duty things. For the interior of the garbage can you will be using the red heavy duty solution as demonstrated in a previous video. So for the sink area you will be using the red heavy duty solution to clean the sinks and the faucets. You will also be using this to wipe off the counters because people are very you also need to use the red heavy duty solution on the soap dispenser, as shown. So, the toilets are the dirtiest part of the bath. So you'll be using the red heavy duty cleaning solution all over everything in here, such as the railings, the walls, and of course, the toilet itself. Also, you'll be using it on the stall walls, because people touch everything. Now, in the men's bathroom, you'll have to be cleaning urinals, which are pretty much the same as the regular toilets. Which means you'll have to use the heavy duty to clean the solution all over it. Just wipe it down and wipe the stall sides. Now, unlike mopping other areas of the church, you'll have to use the red heavy duty cleaning solution for this. And you'll get that as explained in the previous video by myself. demonstrating how to clean the couches. Now first, you want to check if the couch, couch cushions are removable. If they are, then take them off, vacuum the bottom of the cushions and the bottom of the couch. If they are not, like this one, then you proceed to simply just vacuum the, couch, the top of the couch cushions by themselves and in between the cracks. So, you first get those out. Turn on the vacuum, you proceed to do this, move the vacuum as well, and vacuum in between the cracks of the arms, cushions, and the back. When you are cleaning the sink, it is very important 
to do this one first and to spray it down with this red solution and, and uh, after you're done spraying you wash it off and then everything else in the kitchen is done with this green spray. You also need to wash the floor with the green solution. And finally, to clean the baptismal font, you must fill the bucket up with the green my duty solution, put the mop in, and mop everything, including the stairs and the ledges. And then once you're done, you, you use the faucet and you rinse it and you rinse the bucket and mop out, and then you put water everywhere.